In this video, we are going to see the Fertlabs vs. Van Dyke vs. Vodak models. So, let's begin first with what is CDA, Critical Discourse Analysis. It is a qualitative analytical approach for critically describing, interpreting and explaining the ways in which discourses construct, maintain and legitimize social inequalities. It aims to understand how language is used in real life situations and to dig deep into its ideology. Critical means examination of the merits and the faults of the work, discourse, any written, spoken or body language, visual communication, analysis, explanation of the elements and the structure of that work or utterance. Principles of CDA 1. Farclaves Language is a magic tool. You can do, you can change things using this tool, make new things, power can change things, attitudes, etc. As I felt interested in the language use, aka function and not usage, the structure. Language is a polysystemic. Uh, means one structure and a different meaning. Language is about choices. Each word has its purpose. The selection of words depends and play another meaning. Second, Van Dyke. In every text, there is a positive self-presentation and a negative other presentation, what is boasting and derogation. Power and control are interrelated. Having more power means having more control. Whenever we analyze CDA, we need to have a clear vantage point, a personal point of view. 3. Vodax Principles CDA shouldn't be analyzed. It has an eclectic nature. Social problems are too complex. It is impossible to analyze social problems like racism without knowing the history or the context and the, its background. And now uh, let's see the, the three models. We've seen before Fraglov's mm, dimensions, descriptive as a file, discursive practice, and socio-cultural practice. And there is a video about it, so check it. And second, we have Van Dyke's model, which is composed also about three dimensions. The first is as Fraglov's descriptors SFL are called also micro level, but the same as Fraglov's plus more emphasis on modality. Or we're gonna focus on modality. The second uh, dimension is called socio-cognitive and also called meso level. We do analyze uh, presuppositions, metaphor, implications, and as far as them connotation. So the differences and uh, what we're gonna do or what go, what we're gonna analyze in the Van Dyke's model, we're gonna focus on modality and descriptive dimension, and then we have socio cognitive, which is a the knowledge, ideologies, and attitudes shared and discussed in a society. It is also called meso level. We're going to analyze presuppositions, which are 
IDs are information that uh, the speaker assumes to know it. And then metaphors. Any similarity or differences used as illustrations or exemplify. And or exaggeration of the certain information. Implications used as hedging or vagueness. Words need to be analyzed. As per them connotation, the self person representations in groups and the derogation of the others, the out groups. And the third dimension, social cultural practice, called macro level, which is the same as for clubs. And the third model is Wordax model. Mother Wodak has three dimensions, two descriptive SFL, we do the same as Fair Club's descriptive dimension. And then the second dimension is called intertextuality and interdescriptivity. That means Intertextuality means the shaping of the text meaning by another text and it is the interconnection between similar or related works of other texts like allusions, quotation, karki, plagiarism, translations, patishi and parody. Interdiscursivity is the aspect of the discourse that relates that relates it to other discourses. And we do analyze in this dimension euphemism, which is replacing an offensive word or expression with the one considered more pleasant or softer than the previous one. And then we have Vaxis which is the terms of time and place cannot be understood unless put in the context. And finally we have quotations, which is direct speech or indirect speech. The third dimension called the socio-cultural practice, we do the same on Spark Club Plus, including both diachronic background and synchronic as well means that we do analyze what's going on before publishing that work in background and during the publishing that work as well as as well.